today on the in menu we have Kitsune. Paladin actually has a pretty decent kit synergy with the gimmicks with this boss fight. The basic gimmick here is that Kitsune changes forms depending on health remaining. He changes forms every 20% of his remaining health. All of his attacks deal void damage, so if you want to stack resistances, it doesn't actually help that much that max is like 71 versus the 69 of all. Regardless, getting into his rotations, he starts out with a two-turn shield, followed by a damaging move with plus 200 crits and bonus to hit, so basically you're not avoiding it and you're taking a lot of damage. After this, he uses either a attack with 200 bonus or 200 crit. He then sets up the shield again, which means you had a grand total of one turn of non-shielded damage, so you might want to bring something to counter that. Next, he uses an attack with 200 bonus, as well as the ability to inflict a two-turn void dot. Now he's either going to, again, use an attack with 200 bonus or 200 crit, as well as have the pop-up of you catch a glint in Kitsune's eye, he's preparing something, which is mildly ominous. Finally, he uses a powerful attack with 200 crit and 100 bonus, after which the cycle is done and he starts rotating from the beginning. In addition to the regular rotation he has, he also has an attack that will instantly kill you if you are below a certain amount of HP. If he somehow, such as through death proof, fails to kill you using this attack, he will then use another attack that has absurd amounts of bonus to it, applies the shield and the dot, because death proof. For this first cycle of the humanoid form, the threshold for the lethal attack is 20%. After you've dealt 20% damage to him in total, he transforms into the yokai form, which is a lot less impressive and a lot more annoying, honestly. On the turn he transforms, he stops taking damage until he can act, so you cannot skip forms or anything like that. While in Yokai form, he heals 2.5% of his max HP every turn. Joy. In addition to that, his entire rotation is alternating between two different attacks. The first attack decreases your avoidance by 5 every time it's used, essentially permanently. The second attack does the exact same for your all resistance. The basic idea with this boss is that once the transformation happens, you want to deal with the yokai form as quickly as you can, because all of this is going to make it a lot harder to survive the humanoid form. The yokai form itself is not particularly threatening in terms of damage or anything. That's honestly all I can possibly say about this fight, other than the fact that on the later rounds of the humanoid form, the instant kill increases to 40% and 60% respectively. That being said, I did mention that Paladin has kind of accidental synergy here, which is that as it has a debuff clear on the heal, once the transformation back to the humanoid form happens, you can just purge the all and avoidance debuffs you've accumulated, and therefore it doesn't actually make the fight that much harder. As is standard for any kind of paladin fight, the healing on the yokai form is extremely annoying and drags out the fight more than it needs to, 
but it is reasonably doable. The pet dragon has the bonus buff because you don't really need to defend that much. Honestly, you can't defend too much against the humanoid form at least, and once the yokai form starts to stack the avoidance debuffs on you, you become less and less able to avoid anything, so you might as well just mostly burst through the fight as well as you can. And preferably you have a burst ready for when the yokai form pops in, because you want to get rid of it as quickly as possible. Anyways, that's all I had to say about this fight, so I'm just going to shut up now, and uh, you can enjoy whatever might be left of this video at this point.